good morning and welcome back to the next class on theory of computation in this class we are going to look at an example on conversion of a nfa with epsilon move to nfa so the nfa with epsilon move is given by the transition diagram where there is a epsilon transition from q0 to q1 and from q1 to q2 so the first step in the conversion of nfa with epsilon move to NFA is to find the epsilon closure of all the states of the given NFA with epsilon move. So epsilon closure of any state is the set of states that are reachable from the given state on reading epsilon. So epsilon closure of Q0 will consist of Q0 itself and there is a transition from Q0 on epsilon to Q1. So Q1 will also be part of epsilon closure of Q0 and there is also a transition from Q1 on epsilon to Q2. So from Q0 on reading epsilon there can be a transition to Q0 itself or to Q1 and from Q1 again it can go to Q2. So epsilon closure of Q0 will consist of Q0, Q1 and Q2. Then computing epsilon closure of Q1. So epsilon closure of Q1 will be Q1 itself as a state to go from it, uh, itself to itself there is no need of any input. So Q1 will be part of epsilon closure of Q1 and there is a transition from Q1 on epsilon to Q2. So epsilon closure of Q1 consists of Q1 and Q2. Similarly epsilon closure of Q2 consists of Q2 only as there is no other transition on epsilon from Q2. So Q2 will be part of epsilon closure of Q2. The next step is to obtain the transition in the equivalent NFA for which we use the following method. So delta dash represents the transition in the equivalent NFA and delta dash of Q comma X where Q represents a state and X represents the input symbol. In this particular case we will first consider the epsilon closure of the given state Q and then we will consider the transition from all those states which, which are part of epsilon closure of Q on input X. Then we will consider the epsilon closure of the set of states that are obtained from this transition and we will consider the epsilon closure of that which will be nothing but the transition for in the equivalent NFA for input Q comma X. Right. So let us make the equivalent transition table. We will start with the initial state Q0 and Q0 on A will find the transition for, for the equivalent NFA using this particular method for which we will consider the current state Q0 and the epsilon closure of Q0 will be computed which is which we have already computed. So epsilon closure of Q0 is Q0, Q1 and Q2. Then we will consider the transition on these states for the for every input. So first input is A. So Q0 on A goes to Q0. So the next state is Q0. Then we consider epsilon closure of this Q0 which is Q0, Q1, Q2. Similarly we find the transition from Q1 on A. From Q1 there is no transition for A. So it is phi and epsilon closure of phi is phi. Then Q2 on A there is a transition to Q2, so the next step is Q2. We consider epsilon closure of Q2 which is Q2. Then in the equivalent transition table, we add the union of these states in the next state column for Q0 on A. So the next state from in the new NFA on Q0 on getting input A is Q0, Q1, Q2. Similarly, we compute the transition from Q0 on B. So Q0 again we compute epsilon closure that is Q0, Q1, Q2. Q0 on B there is no transition that is phi and epsilon closure of phi is phi. Similarly Q1 on B goes to Q1 and epsilon closure of Q1 is Q1, Q2. Q2 on B goes to Q2 and epsilon closure of Q2 is Q2. Then in the equivalent table we add union of this states that is q1 q2 so q0 on b goes to either q1 or q2 the next state will be the next state of the nfa with epsilon move that is q1 q1 on a we again apply the same method to find the transition from q1 on a input so the epsilon closure of q1 
is q1 and q2 we then find transition from q1 on a in the given nfa with epsilon mu that is q1 on a there is no transition so it will go to phi and epsilon closure of phi is phi then we consider q2 on a that goes to q2 itself and epsilon closure of q2 is q2 so the transition from q1 on a in the equivalent nfa will be union of these states that is q2 only similarly we find transition for q1 on b so q1 epsilon closure of q1 is q1 q2 q1 on b goes to q1 and epsilon closure of q1 is q1 q2 q2 on b goes to q2 and epsilon closure of q2 is q2 so in the equivalent transition table we add the states as union of these three states that is q1 and q2 so q1 on b goes to q1 q2 now the next state in the equivalent nfa is the q2 so we again find apply the same method to find the transition for q2 so q2 and epsilon closure of q2 is q2 q2 on a goes to q2 and epsilon closure of q2 is again q2 so we add a transition from q2 on a goes to q2 in the equivalent nfa similarly for q2 on b we find the epsilon closure of q2 which is q2 and q2 on b again goes to q2 and epsilon closure of q2 is q2 so we add a transition from q2 on b to q2 the final states of the nfa are those states of the nfa with epsilon move that can be reach final state by reading epsilon only right so all the states that can reach the final state by reading epsilon only in the given nfa with epsilon move will be the final states in the equivalent nfa so here each states from q0 also by reading epsilon you can reach q2 which is the final state in the given nfa with epsilon move and q1 can also reach q2 only by reading epsilon and q2 is a final state so all the states that can reach final state by reading only epsilon will be final states so here all the three states will be final state right so in this way we convert a given nfa with epsilon move to an equivalent nfa in the next class we will look at another example on nfa to dfa conversion thank you